So today, Chris and I are headed to the UFO Futura houses that are just past Keelum. Uh, we got a bus ticket. It costs us 88 Taiwanese dollars each. Uh, it's gonna take us about an hour to get there. It was a bit of a hassle this morning trying to find this bus station because it's not the Taipei main station bus station, it's the one across the road. But we're on the bus and we're on our way. here in the UFO village just outside Keelung, Taiwan. We took a bus to the Holiday Green Bay Resort and if you just walk down to the beach you'll find these amazing houses. They're called the Futuro houses. They were designed by a Finnish designer and then abandoned and uh, anyone can come and just look at them. Some of them are completely destroyed, as you can see this one behind me. Some of them are definitely falling apart. And then there's some that are okay quality. So these long ones are called the Ventura houses and the circles are called the Futuro houses. So what are the Futuro houses and why are they on Taiwan's north coast? These structures were created by Finnish architect Matty Saronen in the late 1960s. The Taiwan Futuro houses are a little bit different than the originals designed by the Finnish architect. They sit on a concrete platform higher than the originals did. There isn't a lot of information online about when exactly these were built or when they were abandoned. There are a lot of theories out there, but no one is quite sure. This one's more destroyed than some of the other ones. The round pill-like structure is made out of a light fiberglass reinforced plastic. If you look in, you can see that they built all the furniture to match the curve. And you can see the bedroom back there. I'm guessing the bathroom would be on that side. And the kitchen's kind of central, which is really interesting. The future houses are 50 square meters. Less than 100 of these homes were constructed before it was shut down in 1973. The skyrocketing price of plastic and oil made the construction of the houses much more expensive. Even though it was considered a commercial failure, the conceptual design of the Futuro home remains famous. There are estimated to be 60 left in existence today. There's so many. This one I think probably someone has been taken care of. It's got a beautiful paint job. There are still people inhabiting some of these Futuro and Venturo houses, and supposedly there are guards in the area, although we didn't see any on our trip. Emerald Bay was once a popular resort area. There was much more development planned for the area, but unfortunately, as the economy dropped, so did the tourists. Oh look, this is like the bottom of one. The house on top of it's gone.
So we've walked to the end of the lane. Uh, some of the ones down here are very destroyed, as the, you can see with this one. You can actually see the ground through the home on the inside. Uh, there's some empty pads, like they were going to put more houses here that just never happened. And it's interesting because somebody over there built their house around one of the pods. You can kind of see it there. I don't want to go too close because obviously they live there. Um, there are also a couple of people down along the beachfront that have started to or have renovated them and they look really nice. So hopefully somebody could come through and renovate these and rent them out because they are really cool pieces of architecture and I really enjoyed coming here. It feels like it's gonna start storming, so we're just gonna head on out. These houses could possibly be demolished in the future, like the San Z UFO houses were. If you're in Taipei, they're definitely worth checking out. If you're going to visit, just be respectful of the people who are still living in the area.